I've chosen to do a pinotage in this for this tasting as um, last weekend I tasted a pinotage from David and Nadia in the Swatland and I thought I'd look for another pinotage from the Swatland. So I've uh, bought a pinotage from Dragon Ridge Wines. So pinotage is a South African varietal. It was created in 1925 by Professor Perrault. Uh, through cross-pollinating Hermitage and Pinot Noir. Hermitage is now called Sinso. And the name comes from the welding of the two parental grape varietals, Pinot Torch, Pinot Noir. And um, in fact, there was a time when Hamin Noir was also considered. Uh, that happened in 1925. But the first barrel of Pinot Torch was made by C.T. Duval, who is a colleague and friend of uh, Professor Perrell at Stellenbosch University and that was in um, 1941. The first commercial pinotage that was made was under the Lanzarac label and that was in 1961. But pinotage came into its own when it won the best um, red wine in the International Wine and Spirits Competition in London in 1992. All the vines on the farm are bush vines, dry land bush vines. Dry land meaning that there's no irrigation. There is very little water here anyway. And um, bush vines meaning that the vines are not trellised. They literally grow in their natural form and pruned into the, pruned into the shame, shape of a hand or a goblet. Um, it, which is much better for water retention. The vines are all hand harvested. The, grape, the berries are sorted gently crushed, just popped, so that the sugar can come in contact with the natural yeast that is on the skin and are de-stemmed. And uh, Johan told me that for his pinotage, he actually puts the fermenters in the warmest place on the farm, which is an enclosed courtyard, and ferments for at up to 38 degrees, which I find quite surprising. But he says this removes a lot of the unwanted flavors that are often associated with um, with pinotage and I think he's got it right after tasting. The wine is then put into old French barrels for up, about 15 months. Right, let's do some tasting. Right, can you see the label? Yeah. Pretty. Yeah? So it's 13% alcohol. The bottle cost me 165 rand at the cellar. So notes of colour. Um, it's got a wonderful ruby red with a dark purple center deep red fruits a bit of licorice a bit of cedar a slight bit of mocha and uh, cloves it's spicy and fruity Plum, plum flavors, but grippy tannins, nice extended finish. So much fruit, but without being jammy. It's a, it's a, it's a, a very elegant wine. I think this would age very well. Pinotage generally does. And I'd like to see this served with something South African, as it is a South African uh, grape like a medium rare kudu steak on the braai served with a red berry sauce such as cranberries and I think that fruitiness and the, would pair well with the fruitiness of the wine and the, the grippy tannins will pair well with the peppery um, kudu. I think it would do well with bubuati, um, with the lamb curry. It's truly a good wine. Even with some bright burrables. Thank you.